Hey guys, what's going on? I have an OU battle for you. Uh, this is literally the first OU battle I think I've ever played. I always started in the lower tiers. So I just grabbed some Pokemon that I liked. I gave him some nicknames, and it actually ended up being a really good game. So I let off with my Dragonite, you know, for that multi-scale and stuff like that. But uh, he couldn't really do anything, so I switched into my uh, Zubat, my Gliscor. And uh, man, Zub Gliscor is just... I don't think I'm ever going to use it again because it's just so unfair. It's just so stally and, oh man, like it's really good. It's such a good Pokemon, but on, like honestly, I felt bad for this guy because I just kept trolling him all day long with this thing. So uh, I'm kind of having like a stall war with this Torterra, uh, so nothing really much going on. So yeah, this is my first time playing OU. Like literally, this is the first game. I just went onto the Pokemon Online server or sorry, the Smogan server, hit Find Battle, and this is the first battle I got. And it's actually really good. Uh, the other thing I noticed about OU, uh, because I did some battles afterwards, is uh, the battles are a lot longer, and also the Pokemon are a lot less varied. Like, my team is really hoary and faggotish, but a lot of people play similarly. Luckily, this guy actually has a pretty original team, and he gave me a run for my, run for my money. So I bring in my Ujelly, my, uh, after that stall war was over, I bring in my Ujelly, my Tentacruel, and I'm all like, yo bro, Ujelly, Ujelly. So um, I rapid spin away those rocks, which is really important because I ended up doing a lot of switching in this game because since it's my first game, I had no idea what things really could do because like I said, I'm only used to UU and RU and NU. But I actually make some pretty good predictions. Like there, I knew the Earthquake was coming, so I switched into my Gliscor. That's it. It's, all, it's almost like a rule of thumb when playing with a Gliscor. If you don't know what's coming, just switch him in. He can normally take hits pretty well. So I see he's going for a Fire Blast. So I go for the Toxic. And um, uh, yeah, so which is good because Salamence is pretty scary. So I go for the Protect just to kind of stall out his health. Because I don't really have anything to take him down. I mean, I have Tentacruel, but his special attack isn't very high. So I bring him in anyway, uh, expecting the Fire Blast, but he makes a good play. Goes for the Draco Meteor. That does a shit ton to my U-Jelly, which sucks, man. So now I'm like, you know, man, that sucks. So um, he gets the Moxie Boost, but that's okay, because he's nearly dead. So I just send in my Gliscor. Uh, he switches out on the Protect... Uh, into his Torterra, which uh, didn't really matter to me because, um, yeah, it didn't matter. Um, so I decided I don't want to have this stall war again. So I switch out. I've got the Fire Punch on my Dragonite, my surprise. So um, he misses the Lead Seed. Once again, didn't matter. Uh, so I just take him out with my Dragonite. So he's still got his multi-scale boost up, and uh, I kind of want to keep it that way. So I see the Bouffalant. Uh, <laughs> what a cool Pokemon, man. How is that not Taurus's evolution? But anyway, so, once again, me being a total douchebag with my Gliscor. But, I, I mean, I'm sorry, guys. This was my first game. Like, I was just, I, can't, I really wanted to win my first game in OU, so. Um, his returns are doing about half, but I just kind of wanted to stall down his HP a little bit. And, um, so I'm just going for the Protect. Uh, getting those uh, poison heals. I mean, seriously, who thought to give him po give uh, Gliscor poison heal? I mean, that's just it's just ridiculous. Uh, so I switch it to my Gengar because uh, the return is coming because that's why he's done for like the last four turns. So that doesn't do anything to me. Uh, I I predict the switch and I go for the sub. Uh, for some reason, <laughs> yeah, and I named my uh, Gengar Clefable because seriously, man, it looks like Clefable. And uh, so he goes for the Sucker Punch, breaks my sub. So I go for the uh, T-Bolt. And so I'm a sucker, bolt, sucker Punch would probably take me out. So I'm assuming he's going to go for it again. So I switch into my uh, Zubat. And um, so I can then poison him because uh, that won't activate the Sucker Punch. But he makes the smart play. He uh, switches out into his Metagross. So my Toxic doesn't work. And... Um, what I should have done, well, to be honest, even now, I'm not really sure. Because I see he's going for the Meteor Mash. And I'm like, 
Okay, I have a Caesar on my team, like a Choice Bandit Caesar. I called him Lemons because uh, he's actually supposed to be a shiny, and he's like green. So I thought that would be... Oh, he's like yellow, because, you know, lemons are yellow. Uh, so I pop his balloon. That doesn't really matter to me. But that superpower did not do very much. For some reason, I thought it would be super effective, but obviously it's not. Uh, so I switch into my Dragonite, um, and I go for the Fire Punch, which nearly takes it out. And he goes for the Meteor Mash. Luckily, I had my multi-scale, so that did about half damage. So it did like 45 instead of 90%. But I could have switched into my Magnezone because it has the Steel Trap or like the Magnet Pull. So it's tra trapped Steel types and it's got the Hidden Power Fire. But I really didn't know if Metagross carries Earthquake because that would just uh, screw me over. So if you do know... Uh, just you know, write in the comments if Metagross normally carries Earthquake with Meteor Mash and Bullet Punch. Uh, because my Magnezone is a uh, choice spec, so it doesn't have the air balloon. So I send in my Dragonite, Dra Dragonite, excuse me, I can't even speak English. Uh, I send in my Dragonite as fodder, which kind of sucks, because Dragonite didn't really get to do much this game. So I bring in my you leaving because he's uh, he traps Steel types. Um, and he sends in this hitmon on top, and my Thunderbolt is going to take him out, because like I said, he's choice specs. And it's pretty awesome. Uh, so he sends in this Bouffalant. Uh, Earthquake is obviously coming, because, you know, four times effective. Uh, I think he's playing... He, he's probably playing a bit too safe for this point in the game, because I can kind of read his attacks like a book. And at this point, you don't really want people to be predicting you. And I predicted really well this game. Like, the Switch was coming, I went for the sub... I go for the Toxic, which is really, really important, because Lantern is bulky as hell. Like e People even use it in OU, because it's just really hard to take down. Um, so I, he, I go for the Toxic. He's poisoned. I can kind of just stall him out, protect from the Hydro Pump, and I'm sure he's going to go for the Hydro Pump the next time. Uh, so I switch out, and I send in my Magnezone, who uh, does not take that... Um, that Hydro Pump very well at all. So, but he's at like 20%. He switches out his uh, Lantern. I take out the Bouffalant because Choice Specs Rex shit. And uh, so all he's got left is the Lantern. He goes for the Hydro Pump. That kills me. Uh, my Magnezone. And I have my, I still have my Gengar, who's uh, freaking cool. Uh, so I go for the Shadow Ball. It doesn't kill him, but luckily he's poisoned. Um, so he's going to take me out the Hydro Pump. I still had one more Pokemon. He's going to die to the poison. So that was a really good game. I think I played really well. So uh, I hope you enjoyed, guys.